My work is essentially about memory, about objects and how they live on and the stories within the objects live on. My chosen protagonist was my mother-in-law who was a Holocaust survivor. So I decided to make six necklaces that would trace six phases of her life. I chose to um, make a photographic portrait of a family whose matriarch and patriarch were Holocaust survivors. The work that I've made for the gift is one water sculpture and one sculpture of my twins who one had survived through Dr Mengele's testing and he was desperately in search of his other twin and I felt that I could make her and put them back together. To whom it may concern. What I wish to tell you is this. It doesn't matter who you are, what colour you are, what religion you believe in, what story you brought here. As long as you have a good heart and the will to do good, you are welcomed. My father was born in Russia and lived in the U Ukraine. He escaped as a prisoner of war in World War II. So these are the stories. This is very beautiful. My mother arrived in this country from England a young lady from a good family who loved her and were very reluctant to say goodbye. Whatever hardships have hurt you before, loss, war, education, etc., I can tell you that this will all end now. He came by boat with no possessions, not even his birth certificate. He was able to make a good life for his four children and wife in Sydney as a GP. He brought us up with the idea we were Australian and lived in the best country in the world. Anyone should be able to call home the place where their hopes live, shine, and will hopefully be realised. My parents worked very hard to establish a good life for all of us and we were all very close as a small family unit. Freedom is the essence of being Australian. So whatever or whoever you are, I hope your troubles end here. Oh, how gorgeous. This is your own journey and it is a privilege to have a destination. I miss them both so very much, but their legacy of appreciation of Australia and the successes they gained continue on through me. So welcome, welcome to Australia. I hope now your life can change for the better and for the fun. Good luck, best regards, Madeline Kate, age 10. How, How beautiful, beautiful. No matter what challenges you face in your new country, know there are amazing people and opportunities to be found and embraced. I think that encapsulates the story so beautifully. May Australia be a land of wonder. May it help you to become whoever you want to be. May it be your home with no regrets. You have the power to decide and be happy. We're so welcome, so good luck. So welcome and good luck. This is the story of Adelec and Marisha and their family. And the fact that their family has ended up in the Museum of Australian Democracy tells a story about democracy working at its best.